His name is Greg Laurie, and they've been writing him up as a man that is going to be the evangelist of the future, and he is. In 1990, led by evangelist and pastor Greg Laurie, and out of a desire to answer Christ's call to go into all the world and preach the gospel, the very first Harvest Crusade was held in Southern California. The concept was to present the top artists in Christian music in a neutral atmosphere, setting the stage for the proclamation of the gospel. They came for the music, but stayed for the message. You know that if you ask Christ into your life and if you turn from your sin, you can be forgiven. You know there's a heaven, you know there's a hell. Now what are you going to do about it? By 2011, it was documented that more than 370,000 people had made a commitment to follow Jesus Christ at a Harvest Crusade. But that was just the beginning. Not willing to rest on past victories, Greg Laurie and the team praised God for his faithfulness in the past and prayed for new opportunities in the future. And in 2012, Harvest America was launched. Utilizing the advancements in web-based streaming technology, Harvest events were no longer confined within the walls of a stadium. Now they can be carried live into theaters, homes, and churches around the world simultaneously. Harvest America events have since streamed live from California, Philadelphia, Phoenix, and Dallas, Texas, including 2016 from AT&T Stadium, which was deemed the largest one-day live evangelistic event in U.S. history. And now this August marks the 30th consecutive Southern California Harvest Crusade. 30 years of God's faithfulness, 30 years of changed lives. How many lives to be exact? For all Harvest events combined, a staggering 499,545 professions of faith to follow Jesus Christ. The Bible says there is joy in heaven in the presence of the angels over one sinner that comes to repentance. For 30 years, Harvest is still committed to answering the call, reaching the lost, the hurting, the hopeless with the life-changing, life-giving, redeeming power of Christ. The gospel is the same yesterday, today, and forever.